Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are discussing about a program that count the even and odd number from 1 to 10 in C. First, uh, I open the code block as a IDE and uh, click on the file and then new and then project and uh, from the template I select here the console application and then click on the go and uh, here I am select the language C and then click on the next here I am giving the my project title as a demo one and uh, click on the next then finish my project here displayed and simply I explore the source and then main this code is automatic generated by the code block and simply I am deleting here the this printf statement and uh, I am declaring here the variable ec comma oc comma i three variables and I am simply assigning here the ec as a zero oc equals to zero and uh, i equals to one and then I am using the while loop and giving here the condition i less than equal 10 and then I am within the loop I am giving here the condition i modulo to equals 0 then ec plus plus and uh, else oc plus plus and uh, here I am giving the i plus plus ok and uh, simply I write here the printf and uh, then slash and even even count equal percentage d comma ec then terminated by semicolon then printf slash n and uh, odd count equal percentage d comma oc and terminated by semi ok you simply uh, look here I am declaring three variable EC represent the even count, OC represent the odd count and uh, I is a variable used for giving the value and condition in the program, in the while loop and I am assigning uh, the value 0 into the AC and uh, 0 into the OC and uh, I as a 1 I am in the next line I am using the while and uh, within the bracket here I am giving the condition i less than equal 10 means this loop continue until the value of i less than or equals to 10 if the value of i is greater than 10 then the loop is terminated and here the loop start and uh, here the loop end and within the body part I am giving here the condition if i modulo 2 equals to 0 means in this condition check the even number and if the condition is true then the value of EC incremented by 1 and uh, if the condition is false then control come into the else part and uh, OC incremented by 1 means odd count is incremented by 1 and uh, I plus plus in the last line so I am explaining uh, from the starting the first value of i is 1 and uh, condition is true then the control come into the body part and uh, here i modulo 2 equals to 0 means condition is false then the control come into the else part and pr print the and uh, increment the value of oc plus 1 and uh, starting the oc value of 0 so in this condition the OC value is 1 and uh, the value of i is incremented by 1 means the value of i is 2 and then control come again here the while loop and check the condition the value of 2 less than equals to 10 condition is true then the control come into the if condition and check the this condition the value of i is 2 modulo 2 equals to 0 means condition true then the value of EC incremented by 1 and uh, the control again come into the i plus plus and the value of i is 3 and then condition is true then again the control come uh, come uh, into the 
if condition and check the value of i is 3 the condition is false then the control come into the else part and uh, here the value of oc incremented by 1 and in this time the value of oc is 2 and uh, the value of i is incremented by 1 means the value of i is 4 and uh, condition is true and uh, this repetition process continue until the condition is loop condition is false means the value of i less than equal 10 and if the condition is uh, if the value of i is greater than 10 on that case the loop is terminated and uh, when the loop is terminated the control will come this print a function and print the even count number and the variable as a ec and the value of ec at last 5 and uh, the next line again print the value of odd count number and uh, the value of oc contains 5 because the even number from 1 to 10 and the odd number from 1 to 10 both are 5 so the output is 5 ok and then save it and uh, simply I run it ok and the output is even count is 5 and uh, odd count is 5 ok you simply look here some changes you need if you want to not the loop execute about 10 this 10 value you can uh, pass with the help of user you can simply store uh, you can declare a simply variable n and store the value into the n and simply pass here n on that case the n uh, n the value of n is given by the user and suppose that user passing the value into the n as a 20 then the loop continue as a 20 times because the value of i is 1 and uh, the condition is continue unt until the value of 20 ok means you can pass the user can pass any value any numbers of value and the loop is continue the user providing the numbers thank you friend please subscribe my channel and uh, like my video and uh, thanks a lot for watching my video please comment on my video thanks